What's up friends, thank you for clicking on this video. Let's analyze this new Splatoon 3 trailer because I am super excited. I'm gonna be pausing this a lot and looking at things. First of all, new map. Someone said on Twitter that this map looks like it might be just a redo of the reef, which honestly I would be fine with because I love the redesign of it. Alright, one of the first things I noticed was this new weapon. I didn't even look at the new charger when I first saw this, but the new black, pink, and yellow weapon right here, that thing looks so cool. Uh, people are saying it looks a lot like a Splattershot Pro, which it is about the same size as it, but I'm really hoping it's a new class of shooter. I hope it has something, something special with it that they didn't show that makes it different. We also got some like purple or blue dapple doolies over here. And then this super cool new charger. So I play a little bit more. <laughs> also, wait, 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 wait. We have to look at the... Uh... Check out the Ugg boots. <laughs> I didn't realize the Uggs. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. All right, we'll keep going. Other side. We got the Tense Tech coming back. It has the Splat Bomb as we see in the trailer. This is a black Luna Blaster. It looks so sick. I don't see any Kensa markings on it and it doesn't have like a red clip or anything. Um, so I do hope we get Kensa weapons back, but this black Luna is super cool. Remember the white mini splatling and this new roller that looks insanely cool too. And I love the melon head over here too. This is already so fun. So here's the splat bomb that we see. Kills the dapple doolies right there. This new weapon, it just looks so cool. It's about the same size as the Splattershot Pro, but it's a completely different design. I've heard people say it might be a Forge Pro, it might just be a skin that you can put on a weapon, but I'm really, really hoping it's a new shooter. And then this roller. This super wide roller. It looks like it's gonna be Kind of like a carbon where it's going to be really hard to one hit kill, but it looks incredible for painting. Like this might be a really good splat zones weapon. And this map just looks super cool. This long ramp down here, down to an open space, like it's just super cool. I love all the background details too. Like you got the hot spring back here that the jellies are, are just just cooling off in not cooling off warming up in relaxing their bones they don't have bones i'm just gonna move on from that uh we have a little <laughs> little walkway right back here the bamboo fencing and stuff this is just so cool the three of them up there adorable now this charger so i think it's modeled after one of those pens that has like the multiple points that you put in uh, like one after another, which is so freaking cool. I loved those pens growing up. But what's cool about it is it charges. I'll pause it right here. Right as it gets to, oh, oops. <laughs> right as it gets to its full charge, it has five shots, it looks like. So it looks like you can charge it up and then fire five shots from it. Which makes it like a really, really cool, really unique new charger. It it does seem like it might be a mix of like a squiffer and a bamboo, but I think it's, I don't know. I think it's like a semi-automatic charger almost that you just have to charge up once and you have five shots from. So that's really, really cool. And the recoil looks interesting on it. Got that roller rolling away there. And then this is interesting. So I never played Splatoon 1. Heard a lot of people say this is Flounder Heights from Splatoon 1. Very divided opinions, but it looks like a really, really fun map to play on. And of course, X Battles. I never got to play X rank in Splatoon 2. Um, one of my goals was to get there before 3 came out. I didn't quite make it, but I did get S plus zero in Anarchy in the first, like, the first month of Splatoon 3. So I will be able to actually participate in X battles. I'm very excited about this. Now let's look a little bit more. We saw a torpedo come out up there, 
right behind the X battle screen. This mini Swatling has Bubbler and Toxic Mist, which looks like it's going to be a really good support weapon. It takes down this Charger. That Charger painting the wall. Like, it's got such good, such good mechanics. I want to see where that Torpedo comes from. So we got a Suction Mom up here. That comes from one of the weapons. There's a lot going on right here. The Dooleys roll off. The Dooleys throw the torpedo. Okay, so we have Dapple Dooleys with a torpedo. That's very interesting. Fizzy Bomb is on this Luna Blaster, which is cool. We got Booyah Bomb. Booyah Bomb? I've never said it like that. We have Booyah Bomb on this, but I'm pretty sure that's a K-Pro. Because this looks like the new weapon down here. And when this drops, and they start shooting again... Oh wait, the yellow tip! That looks like the Forge Splattershot Pro from Splatoon 2. I don't remember the weapons that well and I didn't use Forge that much, but I know Forge had a yellow tip, right? So maybe Forge is back? Something in here has Killer Whale, which I think was that new weapon. So if we back up here, we see the new weapon pop up. Yep. Okay, so Killer Whale 5.1 is on this this new weapon here. We got Booyah Bomb on a Splattershot Pro, which I'm really excited with because I mained K Pro in uh, in Splatoon 2 for a lot a lot of time during ranked. So we got a new weapon, a, a new shooter, a new roller. New shooter has Killer Whale 5.1. The roller has like an insanely wide roll. The Luna Blaster has Fizzy Bomb. That's gonna be fun to use. Uh, the Dapple Dooleys have Torpedo. That's super cool. That's going to be a really good weapon to use to get in and get kills with. Very excited for all of that. And now we get to see Big Run. Wait, 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 wait. Back up. Something throws a tactical there. What weapon throws that? Oh, the new Charger! So focus down here. This new Charger has tactical there. Okay, cool. So the new charger also has tactic cooler. I didn't see a sub weapon on it, but that is sick too. So this is just gonna be, oh man, all the new weapons. This is why I've been grinding weapon freshness. I wanted enough Sheldon tickets to get all the weapons when they come out. I'm in the 40s for level wise, so like I'll be able to get all these weapons. I'm insanely excited about that. And of course, big run, big run on Wahoo World. Everyone's like, let the salmons keep it. And honestly, I agree. This looks like a super cool salmon run. Super cool salmon run uh, map. And it's showing some actual mechanics, like Inkjet being able to take out fly fish and stuff. Like, they showed some good stuff there. All right. Chill season 12 1. A new season unfolds. That means new catalog. That means new weapons, obviously. You can see the three in the thumbnail here. Oh man, there's so many, so many super fun things coming, and I cannot wait. Uh, if you want to see more Splatoon 3 content, please subscribe to my channel. Comment what you liked about this video. This is my first like trailer analysis type video, so please comment what you liked, comment what I can do better. Uh, like the video if you liked it, and check out some of my other stuff. Hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for watching.